Who would have thought that Omaha, Nebraska would be a hotbed of union activity in 1882? Still, that was the case when a labor dispute began on March 9, 1882 at the Burlington Yards in Omaha. Known as the Camp Dump Strike, the event pitted state militia against unionized workers. It was the first strike by organized labor in Nebraska and the first Omaha riot to receive national attention. It all began when workers were denied a 50 cent an hour pay increase to their current $1.25 rate, and the union rejected a compromise offer of $1.40. After parading around downtown Omaha, approximately 75 workers from Burlington Railroad formed a picket line at the Burlington Dump. Soon, hundreds of workers from other industries joined the strike in solidarity. Nebraska Governor Albinus Nance called in the state militia to subdue the strikers. On March 12th, eight companies arrived in Omaha with the purpose of protecting strike breakers. Soon after their arrival, rioting began. During the initial surge of violence, a striker was bayoneted and killed by the militia after he tried to cross strike lines. The Nebraska National Guard and the Nebraska militia were already present when the striker was killed. Yet, fearing more violence, U.S. Army soldiers stationed at Fort Omaha were called in as well, bringing Gatling guns and a cannon with them. In the end, the Army's arrival is credited for ending the violence and the strike, though a number of strike leaders were arrested for assault with intent to kill because of the fights that broke out amongst the picketers.